I think the biggest challenges in Scottish football is has always been there. I think I think the biggest challenge is we need more people playing football. We need peop more people enjoying it. We need more people getting better. And ultimately, we need better players that the crowd can come and watch. I think that's the problem. As soon as possible. I think it's really, really important that, I mean, I think a lot of young people learn to walk by holding a football, uh, or certainly trying to kick a football, and I think as early as we possibly can, kids should be playing football. And I mean playing football, just let them play, let them enjoy the game, let them find their own game, let them find their own challenges, and just let them play and take it from there. In my personal opinion, I think the ideal age is around four or five because that's when you can develop the first touch, just a kicking of the ball. And then at later stages, you can have developed more advanced things like tactics or positioning. So I think if you start about five, it gives you a good base to progress through. I think certainly over the last 10 years, I think Spain, without doubt, have been the world leaders in football. I think they've changed football forever. I think the way they've played, their style of football, and just how they've dominated the game has changed forever. The best youth football would probably be Germany and Holland. I think the amount, the number of youth players that Holland managed to bring in for their clubs is unreal. I think 13 years old is too old to start getting kids to play professional football. I think it should be at a younger age to get them used to the tactics of the game and get them used to playing a competitive setting as opposed to going out and playing for fun with no nothing on the line. So I think it would extremely help with the Scottish football system. I think people seem to get confused with the word competition. Um, I think as soon as you play football, football is competitive. I don't think that's ever changed, whether you're four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old, it's always competitive and that will never ever change, certainly not in a country like Scotland. I think the word that people like to say is, is trophy. People seem to think, should we bring trophies in at a younger age group? Personally speaking, I'd love to know the reasons why. You know, like I said, football can be competitive, whether it's with a trophy or not. But the biggest thing we should be asking is how can we make it more enjoyable? It needs to be enjoyable for our young players, especially now. I think it would get, I think younger competitive football would have good advantages as it would allow the players to get used to playing younger, get them used to the environment, playing as a team, playing to achieve certain goals like winning the league, winning matches, and it would get them used to the fact that if they lose, there is consequences. Uh, the advantages that younger competitive football would have uh, would be providing the players with a lot more experience when it comes to playing other countries because compared to England's youth system, our players look a lot worse. For me, football is always a competition. You know, if you're playing with your friends now and it's 2v2 or it's 3v3 or 11v11, you always want to win. And I don't think that will ever leave any, anyone in Scotland because we're competitive people. And we've got to encourage that. We've got to encourage that as well, but behind it always, always behind it, it needs to be enjoyable. Kids should love kicking that football around. Kids should love trying to become whoever they want to be. And kids should love standing on the ball and falling flat on their face, knowing that they're going to get picked up and go again. Because it is the best game in the world, but it's only the best game in the world if you love it. And it's important for all coaches out there that if a young kid loves football, don't take that away. Well, if there isn't more investment and more sponsorship, then I think Scottish football could just continue to plummet. Uh, we have a lack of teams getting into Europe, and this would just force less and less sponsorship. I think there's a lot. I think there's a lot going right in Scottish football. I think there's a lot. I think a few years ago, I think Scotland were very brave, and that they, they sat down and they tried to work out a better pathway for young players, they tried to work out a way of, of making grassroots clubs bigger, more healthier, um, be bo both boys and girls. But we don't hear about that. You know, we only ever see and hear about the teams at the very, very top uh, playing adult football. But at this moment in time, there's a lot of great clubs in our grassroots game who are working really, really well, as always have done. Um, and again, a lot of our youth academies are doing great jobs as well. And I think as long as we all keep the passion and keep the drive, and keep going, 
we will succeed again as long as we keep going and keep believing. I think this go, the future of Scottish football could be quite bad because we've seen in recent years, even at club level, teams like Rangers and Celtic are struggling to compete in Europe. Years to come, I want everyone to sit back and talk about Scottish football players the way we used to talk about them. The way we used to say, that player was very brave on the ball, that player, what fantastic how he beats players. That player, I would come and pay money to watch that player. That team is winning European Cups again. That team is qualifying for campaigns again. I want it all. Um, and I think it will happen. I really believe it will happen because as a country, we need it to happen. It's, it's like religion in our country. Thank you.